Hi y'all! Welcome back to Karma of Omanit. I'm Karma and I hope that you'll enjoy this time with us and if you haven't already you'll want to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you're returning, welcome, welcome back. I appreciate you all so very much. We're building the most awesome community together and I'm getting to know a lot of you as you're getting to know me. Remember to write comments, that's how I get to know you and it certainly helps our channel to grow as well. Today we're going to be opening Bone and Steel. And Bone and Steel is a quarterly subscription box that's done by Wolf and Time. And you know that I get their Wolf and Time box and their Luna Lux box. And I also get their Bone and Steel box. And the Bone and Steel box, um, this is the second box ever. If you didn't see the first box opening, go look for it. I'm so excited about it because it's Celtic and Viking themed. You know that I'm in a medieval recreation group that's a nonprofit educational worldwide organization. And so this kind of thing really speaks to me, even though it's targeted as a men's box. The box includes five to seven items for men's self care, spiritual tools, men's jewelry, coffee, art, crystals, and themed items uh, form the bone and steel box. And the box is $38 a month plus shipping. Now, Right now, you can only order it one box at a time. I'm hoping that they will fix that so that I can order it a year at a time because I'm always afraid I'm going to forget to go back and reorder. But as soon as I got this box, and I believe it's all sold out, um, I was able to go back on their website and see that I could order the box for their next quarterly box. So I did get it ordered and didn't forget this time, so we'll at least get another box last time. With the address changes, things have been a little bit crazy with me moving to Colorado, so bear with me as some of the boxes will be a little bit late getting up between the move and between, well, you know, moving to a small town, there's always all kinds of interesting things that happen. And one of the things that happened moving here, the closest town is Pagosa Springs. I live on the edge of the San Juan National Forest, and there's no post box for me. There's no mailbox at all. They use cluster boxes here, but there's not enough cluster boxes. And so I have no place to go get my mail unless I want to get a box at the USPS, which they'll give me for free, but that's all the way down into town and a lot further for me to drive. So I did go ahead and get a UPS box and I'll put that address in the uh, channel description and in the video description. So if you want to send me anything, a little sweet letter or a box that you want me to open, that address will be available to you. And it will get to me now, but there was about two weeks where they were sending my mail back because there was no place to deliver it to here. <laughs> so it's all worth it. The internet struggles and the mail struggles have been the worst. We'll get it all figured out but to look outside and see the beautiful views that I'm gonna be sharing with you in future videos, so worth any of the complications and problems of moving to a small rural area. So let's review really quickly what we got in last month's box. In last month's box, we received the Viking Oracle card, which she usually puts in every box and then the genuine leather wrist cuff with the metal shield that was absolutely gorgeous and the most exciting thing is is that my stepdaughter loved it and um, she's kind of a hard one for me to connect with and so it was really nice to have something that she really liked because most of the time it's like yeah no thanks and so that was an amazing gift for her then there were the bay leaves for intention writing and burning on the candle the natural resin incense sticks, which she usually puts a couple of those in there. And you know, I don't burn incense sticks as much, but with just two of them in there every month, I try and burn them um, to use them. Then the premium green blue raw fluorite cluster. Oh my gosh, that was so gorgeous. And it had that beautiful card with it. Um, I actually put that on my husband's desk uh, at his workspace in the home to help him. Then there was another original artwork on Elder Farthrick runes, and I love this because I do have a rune booklet, but to have just a one sheet page to look at really quickly as you're learning runes was an amazing piece. And her artwork, Kat does all the artwork for all of this. 
and I don't know how she does it, but the, her artwork's beautiful and I'm super excited. I've started putting them up in the new house and they're adding so much. Then we received a black agate rune set to go with the runes and they were absolutely gorgeous, black with gold. And so I've been using those a little bit. I really enjoy using runes, even though I'm not really adapt at it. So let's get right into this month's box and see what we got. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any surprises. So as you open up the box, then you've got the your tarot card, her letter, some of the artwork, and then everything else is tucked down into the bottom there. So let's start looking, see where I can put this, where it won't get in your way. Okay, so let's look at the letter first. She always does a beautiful letter, and these are all on seed paper, which is really nice, so you can plant these. Um, I do keep them as part of my file work um, to remember what I got in boxes, but if and when I decide to get rid of them, I can just take them out and plant them, so that's a wonderful touch. Bone and Steel, Skull. Welcome to the second box in our quarterly series focusing on the celebration of Valhalla. We will explore the world of Odin, toast to our victories in life and create a sacred space altar a sacred space at your altar enjoy your new treasures that will take you into the great halls and assist you with your practice and i'll read the descriptions as we pull the items out so first off let's look at the tarot card and this is the back of the tarot card they come from different decks pretty so we received the star. Wow, lots of really neat imagery on that card. What does it speak to you when you see the imagery? Let me know what you think it speaks to you. And of course, if you know tarot, then you know what the star stands for, so you can add some of that as well. This card was intuitively selected just for you from the Crow Tarot deck. Perfect to put on your altar, inside your journal, or to meditate with. Focus on what was selected for you and remember the divine message from the Crow. I am not really good with tarot. I enjoy using it, but I look it up. So the star is for hope, faith, renewal, and peace. What do we have next? I love her little artwork stuff. It does kind of sometimes give us uh, um, insight into what's in the box. So maybe I'll save the cards till last. I love her artwork anyway, so that will be the best surprise for last. So first, I'm pulling out a little black bag here. Oh, wow. Look at that heavy chain. Looks like it has a little kink in it. I'll have to work it, trying to work that out. Don't know whether it's a miss um, link in the chain or if I'll be able to get that kink out. But either way, even with that little kink, oh, there we go. I think I, no, not quite. I'll work at that. But look at that beautiful thick chain. That is just gorgeous. And look, <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous wolf on there, and it looks like it's got runes on the outside. And look at the other side. That is an absolutely gorgeous piece. Wow. Super heavy and thick. I love that it's a men's box because I love getting jewelry that's kind of chunky and thick and the gold and silver there with the gold wolf and then the gold little clasp is gold up here as well so you've got that gold and silver that's really stunning so let's see what does it say stainless steel wolf medallion your medallion was handcrafted from stainless steel and gold it is on the king's chain and has a head of a wolf on the front representing Odin's protectors, Gary and Freki. Um, 
uh, Firth Arc runes are carved into the protective circle and the Helm of the Awe is carved into black. It helps you with guidance and represents the Viking compass. On the next, on the front next to the wolf is the world tree or Yggdrasil, I'm probably pronouncing that terribly, and a sky of ravens flying as the eyes and ears of Odin to deliver the message to Valhalla. Oh, that is just gorgeous. And I love necklaces that I can just put over my, oh, look. Actually kind of fits and doesn't hit too many of my other necklaces. Oh, I love that. Oh, so far so good. All right, what else do we have? Oh, I love that. Ooh, looks like we have a gorgeous big palm stone. Again, I love that they do this for men because the stones tend to be nice and big and chunky. And, oh, ooh. So now this originally I would think is black obsidian, but it's got silver in it. Look at that. Let me see if I can catch that. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at the other side. Can't pick up the silver as good with the camera on the other side, but can you see how the silver's all in circle there? Let's see, how can I pick it up? Can't pick that one up quite as well, but oh my goodness, look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, such a nice energy to it too. It's really grounding and peaceful. Premium silver obsidian palm stone. This large palm stone has a natural silver sheen within the protective black obsidian. Your included artwork goes with the crystal to help you understand its energy and to use as a knowledge, a tool for knowledge. Cleanse your crystal with a smudge or incense smoke, then charge it either in the moonlight or by placing it to the earth or by setting it next to a charging crystal such as a clear quartz or remember you could use selenite as well. Um, okay, so let me find the card that goes along with it. <sighs> Obsidian, and it's got a gorgeous picture of it too. So it says black, silver and black root and crown chakras, storm and fire elements, volcanic rock and glass. This crystal is formed by the rapid cooling of lava, which gives it a non-crystallized amorphous state. It comes in black, silver, rainbow, gold, and maroon. Silver obsidian purifies the atmosphere of negative influences. Who can't use that, right? acts as a shield against psychic attack and provides protection for sensitive people. It dissolves fear, shock, and trauma, expands the consciousness, helps you change, change and gives you mental clarity. It also sharpens your senses, unveils hidden aspects of the unknown, and takes away any energy blocks. Silver obsidian has mirror-like qualities that emphasize truth, helping you face your shadow self, negative traits, profound fears, and hidden trauma. I'm going to be working with this stone a lot this month. This feels like a great stone for me to work with this month. And I just love that it comes with the artwork and the description so I can display them together when I am uh, have them on display. Ah, oh, wow. The two things so far are worth the cost of the box already. So let's see what else we got. Looks like there's a couple more items here. So we have a big bag here and I love getting these bags because if I don't keep this in here, I can use this as part of my herbs um, or a salt bath and put the herbs inside. Oh, it's a drinking, oh, it's a gorgeous drinking horn. Oh, I love it. And it's a Viking drinking horn. Look how pretty that is. And it does have the finish on it. Yay, because you got to have a drinking horn. If you're going to be in the halls of Valhalla, got to have something to drink with. 
and I love this size. I have a big drinking horn that I gave to my husband, but this one is just perfect for me. And I don't mind that the tips cut off, although sometimes it's nice to have that tip because when I do the medieval recreation, we have belts and stuff and you can just stick that tip down in there on a loop and then it will hold your glass. So it will still work with this one, but with the longer tip, it's less likely to get bumped out. So you just have to do a leather strap. It's always a little bit skinnier here. So when that leather strap catches up here, then it will hold your glass to your belt really well. Oh, that's gorgeous. So let's see if we have anything to go with it. Okay, not a card. Just trying to make sure we cover the cards because they are so gorgeous. Hand carved drinking horn. To have a proper cheers, you must have a proper Viking cup. So we have given you a hand carved bull horn cup for drinking your mead or whatever you like to celebrate with. It is a Viking symbol of abundance or of life, is a sacred vessel and is used to praise the divine. They have been around for over 2,600 years and were mainly used for ceremony or rituals. They never wasted an animal and respected their spirit. So the cups were part of that sacrifice and were passed down from family to family, becoming heirlooms and symbols of prestige. When you entered Valhalla, this was the first thing you were offered. So I know that a lot of my followers are vegan and don't do animal products and I completely respect and honor that and honor your path. However, most of you know, I grew up as a hunter and a fisher and I respect nature greatly. And I don't wanna get into a bunch of details about that here in this. If you wanna know more, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do a video about it. But I believe that if you are going to hunt and fish animals, that you need to utilize everything you can from that animal. So like for us, if we get uh, say an elk or something, we actually use almost all of the animal. We're archers and so we can use the sinew to make arrows and different things like that and strings for bows and and so to me honoring the animal is the most important thing that if it sacrifices for us that we don't just waste the hide the horns the sinew all of the pieces of the animal that we can utilize to honor that animal so yay oh that's gorgeous i think we have one more big thing here Oh, here's our incense. Let me get those out. So we got two incense sticks as usual. And that's just a really nice touch because you can, you know, when you're doing your altar and setting up this black obsidian and stuff, just to have a little incense. Mm, can't smell it really strong, but it does have a nice scent. And sometimes I like that. That's one of the reasons that I don't really like incense sticks sometimes is they can just be so powerful and overwhelming but that's a really nice uh, scent. And our last thing, except for the artwork and stuff I'm gonna show you, comes all wrapped in bubble wrap and <gasps> I think I know what it is. It's an Odin statue, oh my gosh. Odin. Okay, uh-oh. It looks like his little bird fell off broke off his arm. So I will have to let them know that. But there's a little bird here and it looks like it fell off his arm right here. So he goes on just like that with the little bird there. But look at that. Oh my goodness. He's gorgeous. Odin, great God, Odin. Oh, and look, the wolves down there in the bottom. <gasps> look how pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. And it's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough. Very nice, yep. And I can probably just glue this back on, but I will let them know that it did break in transit and um, see what they want to do. Steel statue of Odin. The great Odin is a master magician and is associated with the power of runes you got in your last bone and steel box. He is the chief and the king of Asgard and he rules over Valhalla. 
Your statue represents him and his great victories and can be placed on your altar to connect to his energy. It was made special for this box and as an antique steel with our logo. Your 5 by 7 information card will help you learn more about him and can be placed on in your grim roar or up on your altar space. Oh, he's gorgeous. Just trying to see. I mean, even the back, look at his, the fur on that. It just, the textures and everything is absolutely gorgeous. And look, she did say it was made specifically for them. So there's their bone and steel right on it. Ah, oh, I love that they have pieces like this commissioned. Okay, so let's look at the artwork that goes with it. Odin. Odin, god of war, poetry, Asgard, and Valhalla, leader of the, and I can, I'm terrible at pronouncing some of this, um, Asir, A-E-S-I-R, tribe of deities, seeker and giver of wisdom, magic, shamanism, and sovereignty, god and warrior for the dead, master of beasts. Odin, a god that set a god that sees any kind of, let me get my glasses on, I'm trying to read through the plastic. Uh, a god that sees any kind of limitation as a challenge to overcome, a warrior who sees knowledge, power, and magic. At the cost of his eye, he sacrificed half of his sight for great wisdom. He hung himself from the world tree, and the Yggdrasil, I never say that right either, for nine days so that he could understand the runes, a torment of his own quest to learn the deeper meaning in the messages. Odin was very spiritual and took shamanistic journeys, sometimes taking rides to the underworld on the eight-legged horse Sleipner. His familiars were many, but the most well-known were his messenger ravens named Hugin and Munin, and his protective wolves named Jerry and Freki. He stole the mead of poetry where he drinks from his horn and speaks only in poems. The All-Father also presides over Valhalla or the Great Hall of the Dead. After every battle, he and his Valkyries comb the field and take their pick of half of the slain warriors to carry back. Then Freya claims the other half. He welcomes them with a horn of mead, a poem, and gives them honor and place to celebrate. He inspires willpower, courage, and the exhilaration of accomplishment and success. Now, um, Odin and Valhalla, of course, when you die in battle, when you die in battle, you're hoping that Odin or the Valkyries will come and get you and take you to Valhalla because Valhalla is the great hall of the dead where great warriors go after they die. And I think that they have to die in battle. And that's why sometimes um, you'll see in some movies and stuff like that where if the person's not quite dead, they'll go ahead and kill them on the battlefield so that they died in battle with a battle sword so that they have the ability to go to Valhalla. And then the last thing we have here, let me make sure that I read everything else. Card, palm stone, artwork, drinking horn, artwork. Okay, so then the last piece of artwork is absolutely gorgeous. And it talks about Valhalla. And it says, Valhalla, the great hall of warriors. Gold bright shields and spears make up its walls, feasting tables and everywhere, and grand seats made of breastplates adorn them. Its gates are guarded by wolves and eagles fly above. The warriors who died battle, eat, and drink their mead to celebrate. Greeted and ruled over by Odin, who brings their souls, collected by his Valkyries, they are charmed until the day of Ragnarok to help him battle Fenner the wolf. You are courageous. You are strong. You never give up on yourself. Never surrender your truth path. Walk with greatness. Overcome your challenges. You can rise above. You are a warrior. Now remember, a lot of this stuff, if you don't believe in it, you could still look at it as a myth and look at the great 
things that are being taught in this story and still use that as part of an intention setting for you for the month to strive to um, believe in your strength and never giving up on yourself. So what an amazing box. I think this box, this is the second one they've had. It is still hands down an amazing box, well worth the cost. What do you think? So in this box, we got the Crown Tarot card, the premium silver obsidian palm stone, the original artwork prints of the Odin information page and the silver obsidian crystal page, the steel statue of Odin, the stainless steel wolf medallion, the natural resin incense sticks, the hand carved drinking horn, and the original artwork Valhalla that I just showed you. What an amazing box. I give this box an energetic two thumbs up and a little bit of a shoulder dance even. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love all the Wolf and Time boxes. They are probably one of my favorite companies that I'm working with right now. Kat is an amazing artist, an amazing person. Um, she even gets back to my emails. I just don't know how this company does it, but keep up the great work, Kat. I'm sending you lots of strength and love and light to continue your work because it makes so many of us so happy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and come back often to the channel where you can say, Karma is my friend. Bye, y'all.